Good morning. It's January the 4th. It's snowing. So uh, we'll see how far I go. Um, it's about minus 19 again, same as yesterday. Right around minus 2 Fahrenheit. Supposed to snow all day and turn colder, so... <laughs> It's definitely January. Means none of the sidewalks will have been cleared yet because people generally wait till it stops snowing before they bother trying to clear the sidewalks. So and I certainly haven't cleared mine yet. I will once it's quit snowing. We're going to just uh, kind of stick to the cathedral neighborhood today. I'm going to kind of zigzag my way up to 13th and maybe walk along 13th. Is my plan. Snow shouldn't be uh, deep enough to cause me any problems on the, uh, I mean any heavy enough to cause any problems on the lens or anything, but I'll keep an eye out for it. If it turns blurry, that will be why. in my face going this direction. <laughs> I'll take a turn up Connaught Crescent here. I don't walk along it as often as the other crescents. So this morning I was starting the process of launching the uh, Next Kickstarter for Shapers of Worlds Volume 3, my next anthology featuring authors who are guests of my podcast. Shapers of Worlds Volume 2 came out in November. I've got uh, 21 authors, I think, have said they'll take part. Just found out today that I'll get uh, Jane Yolen, a very well-known author in the field. Uh, interestingly, she's going to provide poetry which will be a nice change of pace as well. Science fiction and fantasy poetry, you understand. <laughs> woof, 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 woof. <laughs> There's always a dog. Somebody clearing your driveway, even though it's still snowing. I suppose that's to cut down the amount you have to do later, but you also have to do it twice if you don't wait till it stops snowing. So it's not usually my choice. The bylaw is it has to be done within 24 hours. Uh, 48 hours, sorry. 48 hours. You have to clear your sidewalk. New bylaw this year. Anyway, the Kickstarter will be in March. So it was in March last year I started doing these walks. I can remember talking about the Kickstarter. So that will feel very full circle get to March and I'm promoting the Kickstarter again. Got a big editing job which I'll spend the rest of the day at once I get back. Always a lot of different things. I'm working on at any given time. Christmas decorations. Oh, somebody else said, did a preliminary clearing.
I think we're supposed to get about five centimeters. Also got a novel I'm writing that I need to try to get some done on today too. So you see this editing job is deadlines bearing down on me, so it's got to be my prime focus. And then once it's over, I'll be able to concentrate solely on several other things related to publishing and writing. With fresh snow, it's hard to see what's under it, so sometimes the slope of a driveway or a bit of ice is basically invisible under the fresh white blanket. So far, nobody has said hello this morning. If you're there, say hi. I'm here. Walking along. This will turn really cold again for a couple of days. It's possible I won't go out again when it's minus 34. I did it, proved I could do it, but. And tomorrow morning, I think it's supposed to be something like that or the morning after, I don't remember exactly how this cold weather is coming in, but. And next week it might warm up considerably. We'll see. Still below freezing, well below freezing, but only single digits below freezing. Which is what it did on Sunday and it felt like a heat wave. It looks a bit like a Christmas card, but Christmas is over. Now it's just winter cards, I guess. There's a view of the cathedral in the snow down there, one of the towers. Holy Rosary Cathedral, which we will walk by a little later on. Any house that has some color on it really stands out in the snow. Ours is white, so it doesn't. Whenever you see one, especially one with bright color in the snow, it's like, oh, that's kind of nice to see. It's mostly, it's a almost a grayscale world at the moment. Not really, I mean, there's all sorts of colors, but they're muted. Like the yellow on that sign really pops right now these orange porch lights over here.
Rosary School over there. This is their playground in front of us, and of course the cathedral is behind them, but again, we'll walk by it once I'm on 13th. And even something under the snow that I can't see because of the fresh layer. I don't think the sidewalk on that side is cleared at all, so we'll stay over here. Crunch, crunch, crunch. I guess I just couldn't see it. It was kind of cleared. At one point it's been cleared anyway. Also, you can't see where the curb is under the snow, so that sudden descent sometimes takes you by surprise. This guy's parked on the sidewalk. Oh no, this is one of these sidewalks that's further back. That's what this is. I forget that's another one like that, Not right on the curb. There you go. On the sidewalk. all the way over to Elphinstone, then we'll go up to 13th, and I'm just going to walk straight down 13th before winding my way home. So, probably won't be an hour today like it was yesterday. Come out to school. Thank you for sharing your music. Grease of all things. for the cords too strung across the sidewalks under the snow. I could easily catch a foot. If you're not from around here, that's to plug in the cars, which have block heaters in them. Electric block heaters. So in cold weather they're more likely to start. It's one for sale. Spruce. This house has a nice traditional and very kind of Christmassy look to it this time of year, I always think. Yeah, it's 13th right there, so I won't. Uh... Oh, look, my first comment is from a bot. Comment bot. Ignore those. Why am I hearing that same car again? Oof. That's just weird. Sounds like he's just driving around the neighborhood and blaring grease at the top of his speakers. Oh no, here it is. He's parked. Thought he was coming up behind me. We will go down to Elphinstone, just one more block, and then cross and oof, walk down the other side of Elphinstone. Sorry, 13th Elphinstone is up here.
so I can walk up here and look at the library. Which is right here. Cannot Library. I don't know for sure when it was built. It must be in my book, Historic Walks of Regina Nusha. Farm Farm and Bidow. Oh, it does have a date on it, 1930. Connaught Library, built in 1930. Over here is Connaught School. I think I said we were behind Connaught School over there, but that wasn't Connaught School. And I knew that, if I thought about it for two seconds. This is Connaught School. is the Happy High coffee shop over here. My daughter likes it because they, they always remember who she is. She goes in. Happy High actually looks closed at the moment. Maybe they don't open till 11 or something. This is the Slate Art Gallery. Used to be a uh, CrossFit gym, hence that poster on the side. Here it is, Slate Fine Art Gallery. Open, closed. <laughs> Make up your mind. I guess the gallery is open, it's just not open at the moment. This used to be one of our favorite restaurants, but now it's some sort of Chinese restaurant takeout place, so it's a shame. I have many a fine dinner there over the years. I used to go there for birthdays and special occasions quite a bit when it was the Creek in Cathedral Bistro. <laughs> Blowing snow off the gimbal, if you remember what that is. The only downside is, I've noticed before, people on this side really don't clear their sidewalks. Maybe the bylaw will make a difference there. Although again, this is all fresh snow, so most people haven't cleared their sidewalks, including me, so I really shouldn't talk. What I meant is, there are places along here where they haven't cleared it at all this winter, I think. The challenge of having a corner lot, of course, is that you're responsible for all of this. That whole stretch from the corner belongs to is the responsibility of whoever owns that corner lot. So that'd be a pretty good argument for a snowblower. We have one, but it's just too awkward to use in our little lot. So I've only used it once, I think, since I got it. have an electric snow shovel, but that's even too much work to get out for most snow falls. I can shovel it like this guy's doing much, much faster. This uh, building over here is now condos, but it used to be the nun's residence the cathedral. And we're mostly into businesses along here now. That's the hair house right there that's just getting its sidewalk shoveled. Come on, Gimbal. Doesn't seem happy with the cold again. This is Groovy Mama, which is a clothing store. Yeah, the Gimbal is uh, stiff, I think. There's the, come on, turn around. There's the uh, nice view of that building. It's a nice building. I've been in there into an apartment, somebody's apartment once, and also there's a nice chapel in there that I've sung in. Of course, is the cathedral. And 
so. Holy Rosary Cathedral, built in 1910, I think, maybe. 10? I think it's 1910. Coffee shop over here, Cathedral. 13th Avenue Coffee Shop, it's called. Really haven't had anybody saying hello today, which is unusual. Avenue have a new coffee shop. Satori, which is our hairstylist, I think, yes. And then we've got massage therapy in that one. These are all lovely old houses, but they've all, they're all businesses now. And up there is uh, Bleich Beauty Bar, so it's kind of a whole series of... Hmm. Gimbal is really struggling. It may be because of ice, if it's getting <laughs> snow into its gears, so to speak. yoga over here and then we have the Penny University bookstore. Hello. How are you Edward? I'm good thanks. Good. Many of my books can be bought in there. That's uh, Knox. No, Westminster United Church it's called. Back at the cathedral again. And so, this is a lovely one to sing in as well. I sung in several choir concerts. I think I was the soloist for a church service in there once too, a few years ago. Oh, there's somebody that's not a bot. I renew. It's a minus night. Well, I'm sure we can get ice cream if you want. Um, it's minus 19. I think it's funny that right next to the candy store is the is a dentist. Minus 19 Celsius, so about minus 2 Fahrenheit. Wind chill, I think, was minus 26 or 27 or something like that. Euphoria, that's a clothing store, I believe. Okay. Over there is Brandy's, which has a post office in it, so I often mail stuff in there. It's the closest to the post office. Yeah, Pacific Fresh Fish, where we get our fish. And there's a coffee shop back there. This is Gale's Florist, where we often buy flowers if we need such things. Safely over there is our go-to grocery store. Mercury Cafe, which has a rocket ship on top of it. You can't really see it up there, but that's what that is, which is kind of cool from my point of view. It's a good old fashioned hot dogs. And I wouldn't want to call it a greasy spoon. That sounds uh, pejorative, but that does kind of capture the flavor. <laughs> Pleasure. Filipino bakery here. Alternative medicine, the evil pet shop. This is the neighborhood center. Been in there for various events over the years. Cathedral neighborhood center. Then we have our brand new liquor store. I've been in the insurance place over there to get my like Aldis's driver's license photo was taken there, and my last one was taken there, etc. etc. This is our new liquor store, neighborhood liquor store. It's nice to have something close. Yeah, the gimbal is. <laughs> 
tends to keep pointing in whatever direction I pointed instead of adjusting like it normally does. Maybe the snow messing with its smooth operation. I'm trying to pull you down, it keeps going back up. It's a nice coffee shop restaurant over there that's very popular. That little shack there is very popular for ice cream in the summer. I don't know what this represents, but it's he's been there a long time. It looks like Aslan. Chronicles of Narnia. This used to be the Odd Fellows Hall. I performed in here too. Burns Hanley is the Christian bookstore over there. And then on this side is the New Age bookstore. This old house. As we go all the way to Albert, I can walk by the cat cafe and maybe see some cats. Lucky. A warehouse books, that's what they call it. The next to it is a tea shop, a cup of tea. Paper umbrella, stationary store. Paper products, I guess. And we have Traditions Handcraft Gallery here. Footwear Shoe Clinic has been here a long time. Established 1960, it says, so that's, that's 62 years. Same age as me, basically. I was born in the middle of 59. And we'll carry on to Albert. Although, if I can jaywalk, I will. To, to be fairly busy along here. I think we're all right. Nope, oh, no, we're not. Let's stick to the sidewalk. Uh, what's going on here? What's under the snow here? Oh, I'm pretty sure I don't want to walk on it. Up here, this little awning. Open, open, open. And then on the corner is Viet Thai, another restaurant we often go to, or you can take takeout from, which, as you might guess, provides Vietnamese and Thai food. Viet Thai. Nice warm mural for a cold January day. Chance here if I go. This is just a strip mall. Super K there it has a subway in it, which we've gotten sandwiches from for Alice when she was dancing occasionally. Then it oops, most of these places. The sidewalk has not been cleared. Presumably that's the responsibility of whoever owns them all, so maybe they'll get fined now. Sterling Silver, Sperling Silver distillery up here. Liquor store. We already bought anything there, but I know Adam Sperling is the proprietor. On the other side you have a sushi and karaoke place. Indian restaurant, if it's still open, Chamber of Commerce, gay bar, <laughs> and uh, chiropractic clinic. It's an eclectic mix of things. Nouveau Gallery here, we have the owner. And their cat. Where's the cat cafe? Are there any cats? Or no? Cat. 
see the only one? Is there one behind this frost here? Let's see. Maybe not. Oh well, at least there's one. Every walk is made better by cats. Alex Presbyterian Church, where we were married, coming up on 25 years ago. It's our silver anniversary in September. Snow keeps blowing. No, the snow keeps falling. The wind is blowing. I don't. I will weather the storm. There we go. Hi, Wendy. Oddly enough, I've never been in there. Always look at the cats through the window. Alice has gone in with friends to play with the cats. I know they've uh, placed a lock new home, so that's kind of their raison d'etre, as well as to sell coffee. The older apartment buildings over there. This uh, microprint print place has been here forever. Bodega. I just don't know. They're taking the awnings down up above. So I don't know if it's going to ever come back or not. It does in some fashion because I like to point there. Sweetie Pie's Bakery and Cafe. I've only been into once, I think. It's in an awkward spot, I think. And it doesn't have a, like an airlock for the door. So if it's cold outside, every time the door opens, there's this swoosh of ice cold air. So sitting in there writing is not attractive because your feet get cold. My Sex Studios where my daughter danced and worked. What's that? Somebody said hi. Hi Obi. Yeah, so light snow all day. Supposed to get about five centimeters I think total. We've had maybe half that so far. Maybe a bit more. I will shovel late in the day. I prefer to tag it so I don't have to do it twice. Watch my step here because you can't see the curves. Where we buy gas, as Petrocam is our closest gas station. And although I've never bought anything at the eyeglass store next door, my wife and daughter have bought frames there. They always have a big, interesting sign inside the building. It's purely local. I don't believe it's a chain in any fashion. I need to clear the sidewalk though. Sometime soon. Leopold's Tavern. I haven't been in there as often as you think. It's just not a conducive place for conducive to riding. Too small and noisy. This building was the original Saskatchewan Government Telephones Building. And uh, it's now part of the Royal Saskatchewan Museum, so there are <coughs> scientists in there at work on fossils and other specimens as we speak. This was the second Sastel building. Now it's just a general office building. They put on that sort of silvery base on it a few years ago. The architect who designed it was not happy about that.
go up and walk around Leopold to the alley, maybe. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll go this way. Stick to Angus Crescent for my last bit. It's pretty warm again. Like I said, it might be minus 34 or minus 35 tomorrow morning. And I just might pass because I've already done one at that temperature just to prove I could. Just because I did it doesn't mean I'm going to keep doing it. We'll see how I feel and what the weather looks like. So minus 19, minus 20 right now, and that's where it's staying all day. Minus 18 is basically zero Fahrenheit. Minus 20 is basically minus four Fahrenheit. Every Celsius degree is nine fifths of a Fahrenheit degree. Or if you prefer, 1.8. I actually find it easier to work with the fractions in my head. Yes. Multiply by 9, divide by 5. That's pretty easy. Then you have to account for the different starting point, of course. Fahrenheit is 32, freezing, point of water. Celsius is 0, so once you've converted Celsius to Fahrenheit degrees, you uh, have to take that into account as well. So. 10 degrees Celsius, well, that's 18, but you subtract, the 30, you subtract that from 32 because you're below freezing. I mean, minus 10 Celsius. So you end up at 14 Fahrenheit, etc., etc., etc. It's always harder work walking in fresh snow, too, so even though this will be a little shorter, certainly shorter than yesterday, which was an hour and 15 minutes. It's long enough. I'm long away then. And I'm only going to be about 40 minutes. I'll undo my hood and let my head cool off a bit to get closer to home to begin the cooling down process. course the song in my head now because I sang a little bit of it is uh, off with my overcoat off with my glove and in your overcoat I'm burning with love I've got my love to keep me warm is the song I'm not quite ready to take off my overcoat and glove no matter how much I might be burning with love I'm staff in school present school now. This house here was built by the same architect that designed Davin School as his own house. And then he also designed our house, which is a few more doors down here. But ours isn't as interesting as the one he built for himself. Alrighty then, I will stop here, so. <laughs> Thanks for walking with me today, and uh, I'll be back. Maybe not tomorrow, just seeing how cold it is, but I'll be back. Bye for now.